I don't know if you heard about the news of Jeff Saturday being named the Colts head coach. Played for the Indianapolis Colts back in the day. Was a center yeah. for Peyton Manning. Uh, but he was named the Colts head coach, and then Frank Reich was fired. Let's first talk about the firing of Frank Reich. Do you think that this was well-deserved <clears throat> for Frank Reich? I mean, you first switch out quarterbacks, and it's been two weeks, and then you fire the head coach. Yeah. I think you need a little bit more time than that, you know? You already made a big change sitting benching Matt Ryan. I think you need to, you know. I I I don't want to say it was a bad decision because I think it would have happened anyway, but I just think like the time the timing of it, I think that was bad. It was kind of odd because they're not completely out of the playoff race now they're probably not going to make it but i mean we talked about this when matt ryan was benched or maybe i talked about it you weren't on the show but i said the timing was just off where it's like at that point there were three three and one mm -hmm. and then he gets benched and it's like what did what did like you're not that out of it in the afc south like the, i know the titans are running away with it but like you can still compete and win and benching your veteran quarterback for you know a younger QB I don't I don't really understand that but whatever decision's been made uh, I think a lot of it maybe to the owner Jim Ursay like he's the reason why Carson Wentz left Frank Reich wanted him he was like nope that's not mm. happening and then uh, Frank Reich was like okay well let me bring in Matt Ryan do you approve of Matt Ryan's like yeah let's just bring in Matt Ryan and then he gets benched and I think that was a decision by the owner as well so yeah, they need uh, a new owner <laughs> yeah well there's a I mean Washington needs a new owner first before Indianapolis, golly, so many allegations. What if I told you that the third-string quarterback on the Indianapolis Colts was a Super Bowl MVP? Do you know who it is? No. Nick Foles. Whoa! Big Dick Nick. What? It's the third-string <laughs> third quarterback, and they're not even giving him a chance. Yo, that's crazy! Yeah, that's... I can't fathom it. I don't understand. But they're continuing to start Sam Ellinger. Wow. People are losing their jobs here, man. Right. They have a wife. They have kids to feed. Come on. Why aren't we starting Nick Foles here? That's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. I don't understand that. But it would be interesting to see if Saturday goes back to Matt Ryan or gives Nick Foles a chance or they stick Ooh. with Ellinger. I don't know, but... Uh, but Jeff Saturday was named the head coach, does not have any head coaching experience in the NFL, any coaching experience at all in the NFL. <clears throat> the only coaching experience that he has is he was the head coach of Pee Wee uh, football, of high school football. Well, high school. That's locally here. Do you know? Buford. Mm -mm. It's a uh, private Christian school. Hebron? Hebron. He was a head coach of Hebron. What? 10 minutes down the road from us. Uh, yeah, he was. And uh, for two, three, four years, he uh, lived around here, lived around Lawrenceville. Uh, and that's the only head coaching experience that he has in his life. And then they were like, okay, you're an NFL head coach now. Man, makes me think I could be a coach, you know? Yeah, I could too. Gosh, what are we doing with what our lives? Do? You know what? Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, all right. <laughs> we're out. We're, it's, let's just let's get out of here, man. <laughs> But Jim Ursay said something interesting, the owner. Uh, he was like, I like that he doesn't have NFL head coaching experience. I like that he can just go into the fire and just learn on his own, and he's going to have to like deal with this. I like that he's not like following the rules and like the analytics and things like that. Uh, so I, I don't know. That means, I, that means in the corporate world that the owner can mold him into whatever he wants him to be. That's, that's a good point. It's a very good point. That tells me, like, with Frank Reich and the owner, there was just some sort of, you know, butting heads, and yeah. they didn't agree, especially, and it's showing with the quarterbacks. Like, Carson <clears throat> Wentz is out now. Uh, maybe even before that, Phillip Rivers, I mean, he retired, but then uh, the Matt Ryan, it didn't work out. So maybe, yeah, that's a very good point, like molding him into something, mm -hmm. you know, whatever he wants him to be. Um, but, I mean, it may work out. John Lynch, who's the general manager of the uh, 
San Francisco 49ers had no general manager experience, no front office experience at all. And like, he's done a very good job, like help the 49ers get to a Super Bowl and things like that. So, um, man, that's crazy. Who knows? I'm gonna go home and apply. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. NFL.com forward slash careers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, gosh, I would love to. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, leave your comments down below. I want to hear your thoughts about Jeff Saturday. Do you think it's going to work out? Yeah. Um, do you like the hire? I know that he doesn't have a lot of coaching experience, but what do you think is going to come from this? Maybe the culture are like, Hey, we got nothing to lose. Yeah. Like we want that high draft pick anyway. It's like, let's go ahead and like, Hey, Jeff Saturday, go ahead and get hired. And we can get Bryce Young later in the draft. Yeah. Anyways, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts.